Hey guys, how about if I ask you the questions how you are going to establish the connectivity from internet zone to internet zone. Now internet zone which is publicly accessible and internet zone which is publicly not accessible. And the best example of internet zone is your internal company website from where you can do various kind of activity like filling your time sheet, applying the lifts, looking your salary slip, all internal work that is only accessible through the approved devices and in this case your approved devices is your company's laptop. Now watch this video carefully till the end because in this video I am going to explain you the connectivity between the internet zone to internet zone using AWS API Gateway and AWS Load Balancer through the low level diagram. Hello guys, welcome to my channel The Learning Destinations. I am your host Avinash. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Okay guys, so now I am going to show you the connectivity between the internet zone and the intranet zone through this low level diagram. So as you can see here, this is the front end applications and this is the back end applications. The back end applications is currently running on two EC2 instances which is further connected with the load balancer or which is a registered under this load balancer. Now this front end application, let's suppose that there is a one of the website myinfo.com and user is visiting the myinfo.com and getting the data through this front end application. But this for a front end application has to pull some data on the back end as well from the back end application. Then how the connectivity goes? It's pretty much simple. All we just need to introduce the AWS API gateway between the internet zone and the internet zone. So the API gateway will directly point to this load balancers and then load balancer further registered these two EC2 instances as a target inside the target group. That's how the connectivity happens from the front end application to the back end applications. This is what guys I wanted to show you. I hope now your understanding is pretty much clear about how you can uh, connect the internet zone to the intranet zone. So if you come across any such kind of requirement in your uh, in your project, then definitely now uh, you are quite able to figure it this out. So don't miss my next lecture because in my next lecture, I'm going to show you each and everything this connectivity as a practical. So in my next lecture, I'm going to show you that how you can register this load balancers under this API gateway. That's all from this lecture guys. I hope you really enjoyed this session. It's quite a small but very informative. And if you uh, think that this is the useful, then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time. Thank you so much.